Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Bros. Got Gaming. It's your boy Sunny, and we are back with another episode of that FIFA 18 Manchester United career mode. I know you guys are loving it, and we sent out offers for Varane, Fabinho, which did get rejected. We then sent out offers for Thomas Lamar, could be putting a contract out for him. We also sent out an offer for Marco Asensio, and we're waiting for Zidane to consider that offer. And we also received an offer for Luke Shaw, which we also got rejected. 17.5 is not a lot. I don't know why Dortmund turned it down. But before we get into the career mode, you know what it is? Gortbox.com forward slash Bros. Got Gaming. If you guys wanted to donate to me for free, that link is in the description down below. All my social medias are down there as well. And also my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash bros got game. Get it popping. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash out the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if we smash out 250 likes on this very episode today, I'll double upload. I got you, all right? I got you. So back into that essential deal then. So we're still waiting for that from Zinedine Zidane. I did see a lot of people wanted him to join the club and the Thomas Lamar deal. A lot of people wanted us to negotiate for that contract. There is another player though who could be joining the club because a lot of people said go after him instead of bringing in Thomas Lamar. But we will put the contract contract out there it's great to see you thank you both for coming have a seat please i'm gonna go with a rotation player how do you feel about that then lamar that's not going to work he's looking to be part of the core group of starters each week and get a lot of playing time he wants an important squad role you know what you know what that's 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 fine i like that i like that we'll take that now let's move on to the next process which is how much we're going to be paying him and how much he's going to sign for. Five-year contract. He's a young player, could be joining the club. What are you saying then? Is that good enough to you? Yes, that's what we were after. Okay, let's carry on. I'm sorry, but 92.2 is still a good release clause. That is a really good release clause. But what I was thinking is we could deny the release clause, like literally not have a release clause in his contract. Yeah, we're going to do that. Let's deny it. We don't have any intentions. Yeah, we don't have any intentions to release him anyway. Let's go 35k. Don't know what happened there. I'm literally, we just, with everything went to me. I will also give you a uh, 750k bonus. I'm not sure what we would pay for a bonus. 750k as well. There we go. The hands are being shaken. Thomas Lavoie is the first signing for Manchester United. It's been accepted. He's at the club, I believe. Has he joined the club? I think he's joined the club. Does that mean he's joined the club? He's literally one of the game faces from one of the faces you could use at the start of career. What the hell is that? We don't want to see that face there. We want to see the actual guy, mate. Let's put in a transfer fee. Uh, they want 32.5. We're going to go in there with 35 million to start with. 55.6 million. And they want to include a salon clause as well. All right, we'll counter it. Listen, listen to me. All right, allow me to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Negotiation over here. All right, Torino, listen to me. I'm saying we edit that salon clause. In fact, you can take a 5%, all right? You take that 5%, you will take that all the way to the bank mate however i would like to offer you a fee of 50, 52 42.5 million pounds and your little five percent what are you saying now torino does that sound good to you i'm sorry but we believe you, you believe it's worth more than that okay then uh, how about we just end the negotiation because i'm not feeling Bellotti for anything over 42.5 million i'm sorry look how he walks off like he's mad at me He's the one asking for too much money. Get out of here, son. You're in my office. Get out. And we can move on to a little brighter thing, and that is Pala Zabala, mate. He's been banging goals in left, right, and center in the Serie A. He's also going to be banging goals in here at Manchester United if we do sign him up as well. However, his value is pretty high. 69.5 million pounds. We're going to need a player swap, boys. We're going to have to offer up a player. Oh, they're looking to bring in a right back. Well, that works out perfectly for me, mate. Works out perfectly because I will offer you another player, right? And it will be Ashley Young. How about that? We'll offer you Ashley Young as part of the deal. 138 million pounds. Now, that is taking a bit of the mick, mate. Let's say if we offer you 20... No, that's a bit too much. Let's say 10% of our sale if we ever sell Darbala, which we're probably not going to, but 10% of our sale, I would propose a new transfer fee as well of, let's go with, £70 million. Pounds. That's a lot of money, yo, but for the talent that Darbala is, could be a really good sign and we'll submit that. What are you saying, Torino? Torino, Juventus. Come on, come on, look, your offer for Darbala is too low. What do you mean by the too low? Eh, what do you mean by the too low? £80 million. Pounds. For Dibby Dybala. What are you saying now, Juventus? They literally want every last drop of my money right now. I'm not feeling this deal. I am not feeling this deal. What if I go back in there 
and offer up a little bit less, all right? A little bit, I mean a little bit more. Let's say 87.5 million pounds. In fact, you know what? I'm chucking a crispy tenner, mate. A crispy tenner for my boy Dybala. What are you saying now, Juventus? Let us have the kid. Come on, come on, we are going to take some time to... No, don't do as an idiot Zidane on me. What are you doing about take some time to think about this deal? Zidane said the same thing about Asensio. Now they're saying it about Dybala. No, I want these two at the club and they're thinking about these deals. I don't want you thinking. I want them at the club. Also, when it comes to these two here, Perisic and Ronaldo, I think Jake Holden did say in the comments down below, it's because they signed a new contract recently, which means you can't sign them in the first transfer window, which means we are going to have to leave it until January, which I'm kind of... I'm not really happy about. Really, both clubs come back and say they're unacceptable. They want 5% salon clause and they want 64 million and 134.8 million pounds. I don't think we're lacking in that striker position to give that money up. I don't feel like we've got enough um, reason to give that much money up. Dybala is also the can roll as well. I'm thinking we negotiate with that deal. Yo, 64 million, are you crazy? Can we agree on this, all right? Can we agree on... 58 million pounds. That's a good deal. 58 million pounds. Come on, Zidane. Come on, boy. Let me have him. Yes, we're shaking hands. There was no caption. I don't know if that was a glitch or what, but there was no caption. We're shaking hands. I'm guessing Marco Asensio. Yes, come on. He could be joining the club. We're going out there for Marco, mate. Davala might not be joining the club, but we're definitely going in for Marco Asensio. And we're back in that room, mate. Can we go ahead and make this transfer happen quickly, please? They want important to the club. I was going to offer him a crucial role at the club, but if they want important, then it's done. What are we saying for the contract? I'm thinking five years, boys. How are you feeling about that one? Yes, that's what we're after. All right, all good. I would propose a release clause, but I don't think they're going to agree with it. 200 million pounds, so I'm just going to go ahead and disregard the release clause. We want a release clause. No, 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 no. So let's go ahead and put that 200 million out. They might, they're actually asking for a 113 million pound release clause. 200 million release clause, what are you saying? Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on, all right, what if we come back in and say, you know what, what about a 125 million pounds release clause? That is a lot of money. For any club, that's a lot of money. Even PSG. What do you mean, man? They're not even moving. They're not budging on that release clause. What if we just come in and say, can we give us an extra 2 million on that release clause? 115 million. Come on, man. Have a little... Le They're not even having a little leeway, man. God damn it. I'll have to accept that little release clause of theirs. God's sake, man. Just sign the contract. Come on, sign it all up. What's the wage then? What's his wages on? He's on 150k at the moment. Guess what, Asensio? We can offer you better than that. We can offer you 150k and an extra crispy. Yeah, I'm talking crispy 20 quid on top of that, mate. What are you saying then? And also, we'll give you an extra tenner as um, signing bonus. I've got that for you here as well, by the way, Asensio. So, yeah. Let's see if there's time. <laughs> don't know what I'm thinking. What are they saying then? My client is keen to sign and he's willing to take a lower demand of a hundred. He's li literally willing to take a pay cut at 120k as long as we give him a signing bonus of blah 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 and two. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Let's just counter that, all right? He's asking for a lot here. Yeah. He's asking for quite a lot. If we got 15 goals, how about we give you a million if you score 15 goals? Right, and when it comes to edit wage and um, signing bonus, how about we give you 1.5 on signing bonus and we'll offer you that 120k? Really, what the hell? Like, literally, this guy is not moving on anything. This is going to be a hard kid to work with, I'm telling you. But you guys wanted a sensio at the club, I want a sensio at the club. He's joining the club. Come and shake my hand, son. Let's get it. And Marco Asensio is the brand spanking new boy in a Manchester United kit. That's now two. Huge sign is at the club already. We brought in Thomas Lamar, Marco Asensio. Don't forget, we've still got a lot of money left in that transfer budget to bring players into the club as well. Let's go ahead and check that budget. Damn, son, literally like 90 million pounds after signing those two big players as well. If you guys see a replacement for those players that I couldn't sign as well, let me know down below, please. And we've got a little transfer offering for Jesse Lingard. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I like the guy because he's a Manchester United youth player. However, I don't think he's Manchester United quality. West from looking to bring him in for 12.9 million though is not gonna sway my mind mate we're gonna have to go ahead and neg neg negotiate for Jesse Lingard and we're back in the room we're literally oh he's got his cap on as well I like that little touch of Tony Pulis 18 million straight off the bat he's pretty young you know he's still pretty young final offer 
This is your final offer, 12.9. Are you crazy? You're offering a salon clause as well. I like that. Let's go ahead and go back into that. We're going to add on the salon clause though. All right, we have to add a lot to that salon clause if you want me to offer this. 25% of that salon clause. And I'll give you him for only 13 point, no, 14 million pounds. All right, 14 million pounds. Bargain and 25% salon clause because we know that could come in clutch when we need it. What are you saying then? Oh, okay, they're giving me more money. However, they're offering me less salon clause. Now, I'm not sure what I want to do here. The salon clause could come in clutch, like I said. How about we edit that a little bit more and go 15%, propose a new one, and we'll go in with that 14, no, keep the 14.5, all right? 14.5 and 15% then. No. No, I'm not willing to take that. How about 15 million and 15% will take that? Okay, I understand you're not willing to... Yes, we've sealed the deal. That's what I'm talking about. Jesse Lingard is leaving Manchester United. Not a good thing, but 15 million pounds plus a 10... No, 15%. Salon clause as well. I think we got a good deal there. Now for a bit of football, mate, and we've got that Al Nasser, who I thought was a China squad. I don't know if China's even in this, but like I said, we're changing up the team. We want to move the team around quite a bit so that we can get a load of players, a load of games in this career mode, and obviously we can find out who's the little unsung heroes as well whilst we're playing pre-season. So I'm going to move the squad about a bit, uh, quite a bit. We're going to have Jesse Lingard playing his last game in a Manchester United shirt. In fact, Matic can come out. I want to give this kid a chance, you know, because I know he's special in real life. Can he be special in the game? Angel Gomez, or Angle, I think it's Angel Gomez, because he's an angel, in the middle of the park as well. Let's get into that game. Let's go and win, yo. I'm going to change it on the back four, but you don't need to see that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh. Uh, okay, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get into this game, yo. We're playing against an Arabian team. We should be winning the game. Pre-season tournament. We've already beat Barca 2-0. Surely we can beat this team. If we don't beat this team, it's going to be embarrassing. Let's go win. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name because I'll probably butcher it. Into the middle. Fellaini, take him on. No, they've backed that one up. There's a lovely pass and that's a lovely block from my boy Angel Gomez. I was looking for Andreas Pereira, by the way, but I'm pretty sure he's gone out alone. Do you guys want me to recall him? I'm a huge fan of the kid. I'm not sure if we want to recall him, if we want to keep it realistic and leave him out for the season and then get him in the second season. What are you guys saying? Huge chance there for the opposition though. Come on, do not let them get those chances. They've got themselves a corner. On the left peg. Into the middle. Off the line from my boy Riley. This is not looking good for us, yo. If we lose to this team, it's not looking good at all. Go on, Lukaku. That's all you, son. You've got the strength in you. He's found me. Come and broke me ankle. No, please don't say he's broke me ankle. He's injured. He's actually injured. Get up, Lukaku. Okay, he's fine. We're good. Run for me, Lingard. I will find you on that right-hand side if you made a run for me. There's the run now. Riley will look for him. Jesse Lingard. Lingard with a turn. Can't make a good turn. Oh, he's got it back. Romelu. Lukaku. Over the bar. We should be putting that one in the back of the net, man. How have I missed that? Romelu Lukaku. Little turn from Romelu. Tries to whip it across. Second time of asking. We'll whip one in. Away by the defender. Oh, I've run straight past the ball. What am I doing? Oh, thanks for that, though. Lukaku into the middle. Asensio! What a goal! What a finish, son! Best game in the Manchester United shirt. This is freaking awesome! This guy's amazing! Amazing! I don't even say the word awesome. What a goal! We've literally won it, won it back there. Bang! Straight into my feet. Thank you very much. Little pass off. Bang! First time! Look at the finish! Wow! Where are we going, Riley? Into the middle. Zlatan Ibrahimovic in that cam roll, by the way. We've moved Asensio out onto that left-hand side. He can pick up the ball here as well. Here goes Marco. Marco Asensio. Still running with the ball. Into Romelu. Romelu. Lukaku. On his weak foot, he goes for goal, though. It's a big save for the goalkeeper. Didn't expect that. Corner at Manchester United. We've got a lot of height in there as well. Can we find one of them? Martial whips it in. Headed in. And it's away by the keeper. Only as far as Marco. Tries to look for a cross. A low cross. And it's gone straight to him. Come on, McTominay. McTominay, man. You should be catching him there. No. Ah, oh, no. Our midfield's falling apart. 90th minute as well. If that went in, I would have just called scripting. Full-time whistle means we win the game, by the way. 1-0 to Manchester United. Three points again in the preseason. That is two wins out of two games for the new manager, Sonny Hashtag it BGG Squad. 
Looking good, boys. A loan offer for Dearly. Now, he's not going to get any game time under me. However, I didn't really want to give away any of our young players. I wanted to see how they proved to be in the pre-season. But let's be honest, he's not going to get the chance when you talk about our strikers like Lukaku and Zlatan Ibrahimovic up there. He can go out on loan to Black... 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 I can't even speak right now. Blackburn Rovers. I'm pretty sure that's how you say their name. Blackburn Rovers. I've been talking about how I want a player with flair and someone who could come in and change the game and I think that is Gareth Bale. I know this guy probably won't improve any further than he has improved in recent years. However, if Gareth Bale joined us at Manchester United, our squad could look crazy within a season but like i said probably not going to be joining the club but i do want to go out there and see if we can get an accepted deal from real madrid anyway we have just done business with them don't forget we just brought in marco asensio so we're going after bale as well let's go ahead and do a deal hello mr zinedine we've been meeting a lot lately mate how are you doing with that bold head can i slap it yeah yeah bat, bat, bat. let's slap it you never know that kind of slap might sweeten the deal let's go ahead and put a deal in i don't know what i'm talking about all right we're gonna offer them up a midfielder in the name of paul i'm joking you thought I was going to offer up Paul Pogba? This could cost us our whole bank account, so I'm not sure if I'm going to make this deal happen. But let's try £80 million. Pounds. We're adding a salon clause as well of 5% if you guys want that, Real Madrid. And we'll submit that. What are you saying now, Zidane? How does that one make you feel? I'm sorry, believe it's worth what? Okay, we'll just, we can't do anything about that. We haven't got enough. We're going to have to end the negotiation there. Maybe come back for him in the future. I don't know. But we're going to have to end the negotiation there for now. He's walked off like he's pissed with me. I don't know what's wrong with him. Damn, we've already spent £103 million on two players in Thomas Lamar and Marco Asensio. I'm not sure if I'm doing good business here or if that's bad business. But either way, we've spent £103 million right now. And we've still got £90 million left in our transfer budget from what I believe as well. Yes, we have. And we could also sell players and maybe have even more Mula. But before that, we've got to take on Real Madrid. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, smash out the like button down below like i said 250 likes and we'll drop a second episode today which is actually the third episode of the career mode i believe but if you guys have smashed it out you know what to do smash that like button down below if you're, if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button that will be appreciated as well shout out of the day goes out to my boy jamie luke if you guys want to shout out you know what to do turn on those post notifications smash out the like button then screenshot it and send it to me on any social media make sure you hit that follow button on twitch.tv forward slash most got game all my social media is down below smash the like button subscribe if you do it has been me you guys have been great and the manchester united career mode is getting interesting i'll catch you in the next one peace